Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. This is a reading for what you need to know, what Spirit wants to tell you. And this is for December 2022. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Ooh, got some sneaky behavior here starting off. Someone has a lot of burdens. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> all righty then. Okay, so what we have going on here, ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Someone is very much into you. There might have been a painful ending here, and this person is being a little sneaky. They're trying to find a way back in, it looks like. There's a lot of burdens here, though, with this ending of this connection. We have the Page of Swords. Um, that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a spy guy, spy girl. Someone's watching you. What we have here? We have a cat. Maybe they see you as independent balance into your intuition here. Let's see. Get this Page of Swords. Let's clarify what's going on here for you guys. Oof. Okay. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? Why do we have this sneaky Pete here? What's going on? <laughs> Ooh, someone plotting and planning. Look at that. They're planting something there. <laughs> okay, they're trying to make a decision. They're working on something. They're working on trying to talk to you is what I feel. Okay, now what about this Ten of Wands? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Hmm. See, Six of Pentacles. But look at this. This is a very interesting card. Um, this person is saying, okay, I got one pentacle for you. I could give you something here. Meanwhile, they have all these over here that they're hiding. This person's hiding things. Maybe they're hiding their burdens or hiding. They're coming in. They might be coming in and say, oh, yeah, everything's great. Everything's fine. And maybe it's not so much. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the page of swords here? So far, I'm not liking this reading too much. Let's see what happens. Ooh, the queen sword. This is you. You're going to mess with me? <laughs> Okay, so the Queen of Swords, this person might know better. Looks like this um, Queen of Swords is taking a knife, so you know how you go, you you move them against each other, sort of sharpening them up? I think you're sharpening up your knife. You're ready for this person. I think you're aware. That's what that psychic ability is coming up here with the cat. You're aware they're coming. And, um, yeah, so they're not going to throw you off guard, that's for sure. Let's see, the Queen of Swords. So that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Get a charm on this. Yeah, memories. There's a lot of memories here. That's why you're willing to talk to them, because there's a lot of memories. Otherwise, there might have been some sneaky behavior in the past. You're like, I'm not sure about this. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords here? Ten of Swords is an ending. And look, we have the Ten and we have the Ten here. Ooh, because this person is not sleeping at night. They are anxious. They are nervous. They are really thinking a lot about how to approach you, what to do. And they know they're coming towards. They know they're walking into those swords. They know it. Okay, we have the sun, but you make them happy and they're hoping that they feel like this connection is divine, it's meant to be, it's destiny, and they're hoping that they are coming towards you at the right time. Where their chances are good, probably because of the holidays, saying, well, people are happier around the holidays. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have here. At least most people could be. Some people aren't so much. Okay, let's see. Ooh, a celebration. They want to ask you out. Have a lot of love for you and they might have been doing a lot of soul searching or they've been really keeping to themselves here I, I almost feel like this person's been like blocking other people and just really doing their own thing because they're searching look at that this hermit is going towards that ace of cups and that celebration and they they know they're going to have a battle here. So either this is going to be from other people not liking this connection coming together. Or they, there's a pretty good chance that you have other people interested in you. And they're, re, they're willing to fight for this. They are also walking away from something in order to come to you. So they might be leaving a connection, leaving something here. Leaving away a life. They're leaving something. Because they want this happiness, this sun. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Why do we have the Three of Cups here? The Tower. Ooh, they just might shock you the way they show up. The Tower is Aries Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person is planning something. 
I don't know, you're going to be surprised either by, by the way they look, what they say, or something here. Something's going to, what they have to say to you, I think they have a lot to say. And this person's been through a lot, and they, I think they're going to tell you stuff that's going to blow your mind. Because I also I felt like a heavy energy. Okay, let's see, why do we have the Ace of Cups? But they do have a lot of love for you. Ace of Wands and Passion, Desire, oof. You know, they got it bad for you. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. I did say this is Virgo, right? The, the Hermit. Check Virgo energy for the Hermit. Going deep within and looking. Ah, Ace. Oh, my God. I can't believe all these swords. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. They're coming in after they did a lot of thinking and contemplating and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. They're coming in with the truth. That's their only option, actually. Because they're, they're coming towards the Queen of Swords. They don't come with the truth. She's going to cut them right down. Male or female, does not matter. Here's a chariot. They're going to be coming in quick. We have the tower and we have the chariot here. So expect fast action here. Wow. Okay, and we do have the strength card. Yeah, they're trying to gain the strength. Because they know they have to put their head in that mouth there. <laughs> and probably get it bitten off. So they know they might have to take some kind of, um, some kind of, you're going to be saying something to them. You're going to, might give them a, quite a bit there. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Yeah, they're coming here with an offer. They've been thinking about this really long and hard. So they're going to come in and they'll offer you something here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be any sign though. But they want to make sure they do it right. And they have, oh, the heart with the infinity symbol. They have they've seen that this is a love that's supposed to last a lifetime. They might even feel like you guys have been in many lifetimes together. Because they feel this connection so strongly. Okay, yeah. And they, um, they see you as a queen of pentacles, too. That you're very nurturing, loving, caring, stable. A lot of people they've been dealing with are not stable. And here we have the strainer. You're going to be, they know too that you're going to be going through whatever they say here. They're going to be, you know, going through each word that they mention and how, whatever they say here. You're going to be going through it with a fine tooth comb. So they know they got to be prepared for this. You're no dummy and they know it. Okay. They're just waiting for the right time to approach you. And then they want to come in with this passion, this desire. Wow. And then we have the devil here. This person might have some kind of addictions or something, or something they're trying to overcome at this time. Um, it could be anything. I feel like they don't feel as confident around you as they do other people, maybe. Okay, let's see. We have here a goldfish, but this is prosperity. This is this is a very strong um, connection here. It's it, They feel like everything flows so nicely with you. Get this um, nine of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know if I said that. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Okay, now, let's see here. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Here you are again. Come up as Queen of Pentacles. You know, you take care of things. You, They know that... Um, if you give something to you, you'll, you'll take care of it. You're not one that's going to um, fluff something off. Or um, if you ask them to do, or someone asks you to do something, you do it. Okay. Because um, you t you'll make sure that you're responsible. That's what I want to say here. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Did I put, yeah, that's a queen. Okay. Got a charm on this one. Mask. Ooh. They're hoping, you might have a mask on, they're hoping that you'll take the mask off. But you will not only take the mask off if they take their mask off. Because, you know, they've been, there's a little shady energy over here. So, you're not going to just open up. Like, I think that's what you did in the past. You opened up and you were very open and they were not. So now, you're just looking, and you're focused on your pentacles. And I think they realize that you're, whatever you do for a living or your job or whatever, you're focused on that right now. Oh. I put them upside down. <clears throat> okay, so 
and we have the seven of pentacles hoping that you will want to put some effort and work into this you did so in the past but not sure if you would now okay what about this three of wands queen of wands they, they find you very attractive they're they're um you you have it all going you're intelligent you're responsible you're good looking <laughs> I'm waiting for the Queen of Cups to come. A leaf. They want to grow something here. They turn. They might be telling you that they turned over a new leaf too. What's the Queen of Cups? Let's see. Okay. So, and why do we have the Knight of Wands here? The Four of Swords. See, they have to come in and heal this connection because there is a third party that broke you guys up. So they're trying to figure out how to do this. They, they're like, come slow, come stable, come reliable. But then again, they, like it's weird how we have the the Knight of... They, they want to match your Queen of Pentacles. Stable, reliable, dependable. But then again, they have this passion for you. So they're, this is really how they feel, though. They feel like they want to come in here with this passion, desire, and just devour you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel here. I feel I'm very, um, very excited energy here. But then, you know, they know they have to heal this. They're, nothing's going anywhere until you speak. You have a conversation. You discuss what happened here. There was some kind of third-party um, interference here that broke you guys up. And this person has to come in. Here's the third, the third party here. Here's the Ace of Swords. They have to come in and speak their truth. Otherwise, you're not going to give them any time of day here. Now, they want to do this quickly here. We have the Eight of Wands. See, they're, the bird's coming in here with communication here. And they have to, they're blocked here. Someone might be trying to block them at this time. They're going to cut down whatever this block is. It also could be themselves here because I, I'm getting brought back to this devil energy here. Capricorn energy could be anybody. There's something, it's fear. I feel more than anything. It's also... um this person might abuse some kind of substance whether it's drinking or drugs or um because of their fear of their insecurities so they might have to make sure they come in correct they can't come in if they're on something because that will not work and they and that gives them that liquid courage or whatever um to to do something but they know if they come that way if they come fast like that like the king of the knight of wands the chances are they're going to blow it. But they come in steady like the Knight of Pentacles. Come in straight, sober. You know, they're going to have a better opportunity here. But um, but then they need the courage to do that. So that's cutting down these wands here. Cutting down these blockages. That's keeping them from moving forward. Okay, let's see what we have for the words. What about this Queen of Swords? Which I really feel it is your energy. Let's see what we have here. We have, we just got two. Tick tock. Expect. Okay. Time's running out. I think this person's been taking a long time. And you're about had it. So you're not waiting too much longer. And they know it. They could feel it. Okay. So what about the page of swords? Past life. Feelings. Pleasure. Okay, this person, I think, thinks a lot about you, and they also feel that because the connection is so strong, you probably had a past life or past lives together. And whenever they think about you, it brings them a lot of pleasure. Okay, so now what about this Knight of Swords? Oh, wait, sorry, Knight, Knight of Pentacles. I don't know why I said Knight of Swords. Revealed. Very soon. Okay, very soon goes first. Revealed. Okay, someone's going to reveal something very soon in the present. Or they're going to present you with something. Or they might even bring you a present. Or maybe all of those. Okay, now what about this Queen of Pentacles? Confused. Oh, there's a tower. They're going to surprise you when they come in. Tower. The X. This is the X. Aries Scorpio energy. 
and they're going to be they're confused but they're going to be very honest with you they might confuse you the what, what they have to say but they are going to be honest whatever they tell you is going to be the truth okay so now what about this other queen of pentacles desire soulmate william yeah they really feel like you guys are meant to be together they have this very strong desire for you and they feel like you guys are meant and, and that's they're going to try to fight their their um their cause here they're going to try to you know this is what they believe and they want they want you to know how they how strongly they feel okay now we have the queen of wands here let's see what's going on with that we have serious keeps the money friends okay so something serious about someone keeping the money something about friends keeping money so this may or may not be for you. So only take if it resonates. Let me get a um, clarifier on the, the money. Oops. Jeez. Oh, a bag full of money. So what is this? A present? There, so anyway, that's a bag with a bunch of money in it. Get this clearer. But, so. Maybe they're bringing you a present of money. Maybe they came across some money or maybe they took I don't know maybe their friends took their money a bag of money maybe they had a money in a bag and someone took it they might tell you about that let's see what about this um, knight of wands we have the end well, we have money again reunite so maybe they're getting reunited with their money <laughs> someone might took it maybe someone bringing it back <laughs> It might be. Let me um, get it clarified. So anyway, in the end, they want to reunite. And there's something about money. Maybe they're going to give you money. Uh, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. The bank. Maybe they're getting money out of the bank. Or they're getting a loan. They might be getting... Maybe they're waiting for a loan in order to reunite with you. They might be taking out a loan. In the end, that might be what it is. Okay, Again, only take if it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but you take it if it's yours. Okay, let's see what signs we could be dealing with. What are the signs for Aquarius? What are the signs? Leo. Gemini. Cancer. Pisces, Cancer again, and Scorpio. Okay, so we have all the water signs. So this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, future. We have Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Now we'll do the letters. We'll do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and someone has a middle name, you know the middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. Let's see. Y, B, G, D, L, T, J, J, O, N, G. Okay. So the letters we have for you today are Y B G D L I T J J O N G. Okay, now for the names. Let's see what names want to come out for you guys. What are the names? We have Reina, R-E-Y-N-A, and we have Nicole, Johan, J-O-H-A-N, Suzette, Heather, and Thea, A-N-T-H-E-A, -E Latifa, L-A-T-I-F-A-H, Asma, A-S-M-A, 
Ginalyn, G-I-N-A-L-Y-N, Arish, A-S-H-I-S-H, Clo, Paul, Jeremy, <clears throat> and Linda. Okay, so we have 14. Wow. Okay, guys, so those are names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And if it does not resonate, check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And if it does resonate, you can still check out the other placements and get an even bigger picture. Put them all together. And you might be amazed at what comes together for you guys. Okay, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.